Hi, my name is Nick Maxwell, uh, here with XL Power. I'm going to talk a little bit about the new Nick Maxwell Edition Spectre 700 V2. Um, kind of go over some of the differences between the standard uh, 700 V2 and this new edition that's just about to come out. Uh, so first of all, you're going to notice that the helicopter is black. Um, it's all anodized black parts, rotor head and tail, uh, as well as a new canopy scheme uh, and a new tail fin. Um, the tail fin is just a little bit bigger for more visibility uh, and uh, it, it, you can paint it and, and you'll get quite a bit of uh, orientation with that. Um, the aluminum on this helicopter is a little bit different. Um, while it's anodized black, it's also 7075 aircraft grade aluminum. Um, you're really going to notice that the tolerances and kind of the fit and finish on the parts is, is it's exquisite. It's a very boutique style helicopter um, for, for a normal price. Um, as kind of talking about some of the performance changes, uh, first let's start with the rotor head. Um, changed the control geometry from the swash plate to the rotor blade grips. Uh, there is now no differential, so when you set up your helicopter, the top and bottom collective, those endpoints will be the same, as well as when you measure your cyclic pitch, uh, those will now be equal on the bench. So it makes setup a breeze, uh, and also the blades stay in track a little bit better. Uh, you'll kind of notice that it rolls and flips a little cleaner. Um, moving down in the chassis, the only change to the chassis is that it's going to come stock with a heavy duty main gear uh, that's currently an option for your Spectre V2. Um, so some of you are already using it. It'll come right in the box with this helicopter. Uh, it'll also come with the white skids to kind of match this new canopy scheme. On the tear rotor, uh, it comes with the same as the Spectre V2, the 21 tooth, um, but the, some changes that have been made are in the tail shaft and the tail hub is now a conical joint, um, so you'll notice that the parts are tapered. Uh, by doing that, it, it keeps the tail concentric, so as you build it, you never have to worry about uh, something being out of round or not running true, uh, and for guys that run really high head speeds or big tail blades, uh, it'll be quite a bit smoother. You, you won't hear a tail buzz, um, even up to 115 millimeter tail blades. Um, the tail bearing grip order has changed as well. Um, I've, I've flipped the, the radial and uh, thrust bearing order, uh, and that spacer is now different. Um, what that does is it just keeps those radial bearing spaced out a little bit more for the, from the load from the tail blade and uh, the, your bearings and your, everything's going to last a little bit longer. Um, it's a great upgrade. One of the changes to this helicopter was to try to make a helicopter that will just last forever um, and I think we've done that. Um, Going on back more to the building, um, on the tail rotor, the tail rotor push rod is now a glueless system. Um, so similar to the tail, we're taking advantage of tapers and uh, the ends are actually a tapered pin that threads into the joint and presses the carbon to the outside of a, uh, a, a, an end for the tail push rod, uh, which has also got some lines in there that, that uh, keep a good grip on that tail push rod. Uh, so now you never have to wait on glue. Uh, all you've got to do is get get it out of the package, bolt it together just like any other part on the helicopter, and uh, you're back up and going. It's really great for, for fixes at the field, building new helicopters at a fun fly, um, quick and easy. Generally speaking, comparing the V2 to the V1, um, the performance and the chassis are really identical. Um, so if you're already happy with the V2 performance, this is just gonna give you a little bit more of a, a boutique helicopter feel. Um, if you're new to XL and you'd like to try this one, um, this is a great helicopter to have as your fun fly helicopter. Uh, if you do local demos flying, things like that. Um, and then you could also buy a Spectre V2 as all these parts are interchangeable, a standard one um, as a practice helicopter. Um, the cost difference between the kits is only $100, so the, the idea that you get all of the latest upgrade parts and the better aluminum uh, directly in this kit is really a bargain. Um, so I think that's about it, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody out at the field. If you've got any questions about XL Power Helicopters, um, of course, we have many team members that are out there who are really happy to answer any questions, um, as well as you can email me at nickmaxwellproducts at gmail.com. Uh, and a huge thanks to Bill Ann for doing all these videos. He's out here every day taking videos, and it's like the next day they're posted up there. Um, so it's great for the hobby, and a big shout out to him. And make sure to like and subscribe to his YouTube page for more content like this.